Only thing I wear. It's got the yeah. sideways. Yeah. I that doesn't have wind stopper, and I thought if I put that under it, I could probably sit through anything. It's not bad at all. No, here what I like is these. That's split. So there's upper and bottom. Oh, really? So I had two different calls in the top That's and bottom. Perfect. And I, by doing it enough, I memorized You don't it. even need a... Oh. And then there's four chests. You don't even need a... Like a... Fucking out. What am I trying to say? Um, rain gear. Not really. No. No. It's not technically waterproof, but I'm like... Hey, guys. How you doing? We're sitting here. What we're going to do is a little review for you on... The Sika gear that we ran during turkey season, um, as a team, we all ran a couple different pieces and a couple of the same pieces. And to be honest with you, it's technically their subalpine line, which is for western hunting. And what we did hunting in eastern, we hunt in the east, uh, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Ohio. We were trying to pick pieces we were going to use to elk hunt in the in the fall during the rut, but also what would work versatility wise, not only for pattern but for um, durability and what we needed here in the east because. Some of our mornings were 45 degrees and some of them were 85 degrees. There was definitely an emphasis on getting gear that was very functional for multiple things. This is gonna work for us. It worked in spring turkey season way better as the season went on. You just started to really blend yeah. in. Early on, I think you could almost use any one of their lines. This maybe the green popped a little more, but then as it started to green up, this hit in perfectly. And then this is gonna get us through elk season. I opened deer season in Delaware on September 1st, and I'm gonna be wearing this. And we open in Kentucky in September as well. Me and Cam will be down there, and this green's gonna work awesome. And our turkey seasons are much later than the rest of the country. I didn't even hunt turkey until the last weekend of April and then the beginning of May for Pennsylvania. Everything started greening up, and as you can see, with these patterns, this green was great. But um, regardless of pattern, it was more for functionability for us to do east turkey hunting and western big games. So we're just going to give you a rundown real quick of what we used here in Pennsylvania. This is the only things I wore during turkey season. That's it. I wore nothing else. The only thing I don't have with me is I had a small wool base layer to go under the pants purely for wicking, and that was just a, a core I think uh, lightweight, I believe it was. The only other thing here that I didn't bring with me was that I, we start pretty early in Delaware, like end of March. So there was a couple of days I was wearing a merino wool base. Yeah, so I had a base leg in and he had a base upper, but beyond that, this is all we did. Um, no, just the base lower because I, I never. Well, your base lower. My whole my whole spring, this was perfect. I was hunting between a range of like 28 one cold morning up to like 79 the last day I was out turkey, and the only two things I ever wore on top were a core lightweight and this Traverse jacket. Yeah, and as far as this goes, we have the same pant, correct? Yeah. The ascent pant. We both have the ascent pant in the subalpine, and we both have the ascent pant in open country. Um, we already had it in the open country and well, we wore have, You have the Ascent pant. No you have the 90%. Country. I have 90% pants and that's, it's a little painful obviously to go out and drop a lot of money on clothes, but I was convinced and I was happy to start to work with Sitka because I've had 90% pants for six years. And this last trip to Idaho was the first time I put a hole in them. Yeah. To have something last that long and it truly does cover a wide range of conditions. It was a little warm for Idaho, but when you get a little bit of a chilly morning like I've had in Colorado before, you're you're fine now the ascent pant is lighter than 90 percent and it's i believe some type of an eight-way stretch it's very flexible very durable now you'll go through briars and it doesn't it it doesn't become a braised i guess the briars don't no. eat it up but now the briars will penetrate right through it but it does not nothing gets tore up on the pant i mean i beat the ever-loving daylights out of these in pennsylvania we have briars everywhere and there is not a mark on these my open country from out west not a mark on them and i even took <laughs> I, had I bunch took of a, marks on my legs yeah not on i pants. took sticks to the legs that actually broke skin and the pants held up so we both ran the ascent pant um only about a third of the season i ran a base layer i think he only ran it a couple times yeah. and then i wore these only with nothing underneath of them for two thirds of the season they fit great they stretch they wick they i had them soaked up to the knee when i forgot gaiters and they were dry well within an hour uh, me and cam in one of our ohio hunts actually crossed a creek knee high i don't think my pants were wet for an hour um they were awesome and what these are going to do for us out west a heavy base layer hiking all day 
these would be fine down to 40 degrees with a base layer. It would make no difference. What so were, we were both very happy with the ascent pan. We had this and the lightweight core hoodie in common, which is the same kind of material. It's super light and wicking. Yeah. So the main shirts we each wore, you wore the core lightweight, all right? Lightweight, yeah. He wore the core lightweight hoodie, and I had the core lightweight crew, only because it was sold out. I was, I have that ordered now, or I would have that. They're the same shirt. He has the hoodie with, show him the building face mask. Yeah. So the core That's lightweight good. hoodie actually comes with a built-in face mask, which is pretty awesome. Um, you pull the hood up, and then the face mask actually flips directly up over, which is amazing for turkey hunting. So you don't have to wear the head net, which I did. I just had the core lightweight because they didn't have that in stock. I will have that now, but they're the same shirt. They are paper thin, almost scary paper thin that you're like, I'm going to destroy this. And I'm telling you, you will not. I went through briars. This thing stretches. I mean, probably a third of its size. It stretches in the sleeves and it will smell so bad and be covered in sweat. And you leave it on your review mirror and it smells Brand new the very next day. The polygene and how much it dries with the merino wool is amazing. That's and the one thing you mentioned I think is really important because coming to this kind of technical gear from other things that we've been using, you always think of things like loft and bigger clothes keeping you warmer. And this, across this stuff, across some of their waterfowl stuff that I don't have a lot of, I have a few pieces. I have a friend of mine who has more. It, there is not a lot of bulk to There's any not. of this it's, stuff, and, and most I, of I, this, didn't, I didn't want to believe it. There was this one is morning. the shirt I wore in turkey season the whole year, yeah. and it easily can go in a cargo. But even and, their, like their warmth layers, like this one, like there's not a lot to it, and no. it keeps you really warm. And we bought these because we knew we'd wear them here, and we're literally going to wear these probably as our all-day hiker in Idaho, anywhere between 50 and 80, and we can also use it as a base layer plain yeah. as day what um, other things were you using? the one other thing i used which was an elk purchase that ended up working here because the first week of the season it was close to 40 in the morning every day so a couple mornings i had frost i actually purchased the jet stream coat in subalpine and this was for western hunting P plain and simple and i was going to use it in early season because even here in pennsylvania early season archery once the sun sets over the mountain ridges and you're down in the bottom of the hollows, the temperature just plummets. It'll drop 15, 20 degrees. And that last hour of light can get brisk. So I bought this for early season and Western and it worked awesome in turkey season. What was nice about it was it has pitted vents. It has vents on the side and it is a very, very thin layer. But on the inside, it's almost like a, like a chamois cloth you'd clean your car with. So it actually holds a lot of heat. But the nice part was with the hood, I could actually flip that up in the morning and with it zipped, it was almost working as a face mask for me as well. Um, it has four elk hunting, which is what I like the most. On the sleeves, it's got universal pockets that actually have slits that I was using all my turkey calls, my mouth calls in. And then it has four chest pockets, which I was running my slate call, my striker in and it worked absolutely awesome. And I'm telling you, I went directly through briars with this thing for, I think I turkey hunted 23 days. There's not a mark, I can't find a mark on it. Even though you hit briars and go, oh, that's gonna be shredded. I don't know what they treated it with, but it's a DWR finish. It's not totally waterproof, but I was in a thunderstorm out in Missouri and I was dry as a whistle. So this is the only piece, I ran the jet stream and he ran the traverse. Yeah. The jet stream's a little bit heavier Yours and is the, more of a jacket. Mine's and the a traverse, pullover. Yeah, and his is a pullover, it's which will be a, better for layering, a light for sure. insulating layer. Yeah, his is almost like a fleece. This is almost like a chamois cloth. But uh, I bought this specifically for when we're hunting elk as my outside layer to wear a base layer underneath. Because if you're hiking, it better be really cold or you're going to be sweating with this stuff on anyways. But either way, the versatility, um, we both ran the hanger gloves by Sika. They're awesome. They have touch screen ability. They have a leather palm and they have suede fingertips. So your tactile ability is still in them is fantastic. I never took them off. And uh, I think we both ran the same head net, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what this is called. This is, this is goofy simple, but it was the only face mask that I've ever come across that. And the reason I got it in the first place was same for waterfowl me. hunting that you can get a call in your mouth. So it actually, once it comes up, there's a slit for your mouth. And this was sold out and Cam didn't get it and he was really pissed about it because the whole time 
I'm throwing mouth calls in and out as fast as I can, and I never had to drop my head net, which was nice. And it's so and simple, and it's something that I've been thinking about for the last decade. My entire and looking life. looking for in stores and saying, why doesn't it? Well, because you always have this? to flip it up and come underneath and come back out, and this literally seals up over top, and all you do is pull it open, and then it flips right back shut. And uh, I think this is like their three-quarter head net, but yeah. I we both bought this for deer season and in turkey because it's going to work awesome for both so and that's the gear that we ran we're going to flip you over to cam he's going to show we've all got some similar elements but each of us has a piece that's unique and we want to use to fit our system and i think cam did the same he's got a top that's slightly different than mine not a jacket like preston's but he's going to talk to you about that so as many of you can probably feel my pain the 2018 turkey season was full of challenges up and down um, one thing that I really enjoyed throughout the entire season was how many birds came in, caught us dead to rights, but never seen us. And a lot of that has to do with this past spring. We, we partnered up with, with Sitka Gear, and ever since then, it's been a game changer. So I'd like to go over what I wore this, this, this turkey season, talk about every, the pros of it, um, why we love Sitka Gear, and... Um, so starting out, this is my Traverse Zip Up T uh, and Sub Alpine. This is a great shirt, breathable. Um, well, as, as we all know, in, in, in turkey season, it's hot. In the, it's cold in the mornings and hot. You know, as the as as the day goes on, and you know, you would think this this would get hot, and it doesn't. Um, it stays cool, works great. Um, has this cool little pocket here for your for your calls, anything. Range finder calls, you name it, it can go in there. It is a great, great, great setup. Um, I really enjoy this. Uh, the pants that I was wearing were the Accent pants. Stretchable, great, they fit tight, plenty, plenty of pockets. What I like about Sipka gear is their quality goes all the way down to their zippers. I mean, you cannot beat the quality of this, of this gear. It's... It almost feels like you don't even have pants and shirts on. I mean, it, it, it bends to you, breathes. It's it's one less thing to worry about when you're out there hunting. You know, your gear is your last thing that you really, really, really want to worry about. Um, these pants didn't rip, tear, nothing. We went through briars. We went through, I mean, you name it, and we was, and, and we did. I think in the matter of three days, we did like 18, 20 miles of turkey hunting, running, gunning, you know, and these pants stood the test of time on that. Um, very good quality. Now for a face mask, what I used was Neck Gator, uh, also in the Sub Alpine. And, you know, it stretches, obviously. Um, it's real, it doesn't look like it'd be breathable, but this thing breathes. Um, I didn't get hot hardly at all. And the reason I did get hot is because we were running 20 miles. <laughs> but uh, the, 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 the camo that, that, that I had on, if I wouldn't, if, if I'd had, you know, any of my old stuff on, I would have been shredding clothes, you know, backpack would have been full, I'd have been sweating. This stuff right here really changed the game. And the subalpine, I tell you, not only is it good for, you know, out west, it's good for turkey hunting. I mean, this, this camo pattern, you can't be seen. Um, early, early bow season, you know, this is the, this is the uh, ticket. Um, something that I, I, I will say is that they offer a vast um, arrayment of jackets, pants, bibs. So whatever suits your style, they have light, they have heavy. Um, I really, really recommend this camo pattern. If, if you're going to buy a first camo pattern, I'd buy this one because it's so versatile. You can use it in turkey season, early deer season, elk hunting. I mean, you name it, this thing is the ticket. So that's my uh, 2018 turkey season lineup for Sitka gear. Uh, also, <laughs> can't forget the hat. Always wear the hat. Some Sometimes it becomes a problem with scent um, because I like wearing my, my Sitka hat so much. But uh, I went ahead and bought and, and bought me another one. But, All right. All right, guys, I hope you guys like the review on our Sika gear here. Um, we're not pushing product again. We were running this gear before we started working with them, and we're just excited to let you guys know what we think about it. If there was a con 
to what we had, we would tell you. If this head net didn't have the mouth hole, we would tell you. If there's a negative, we're going to tell you what that negative was. We're giving advice from what we learned using it. But in all sincerity, five, six years running their gear, I've not had a lot of complaints. And if I did, it seems like the next year's line fixed the complaint I had. Maybe a pocket here, a pocket there. So we hope you enjoyed this. We hope it was useful. Um, take it for what it's worth. We're just regular guys out here hunting and we're trying to let you know what we're using. So if you enjoyed this, please click subscribe, write some comments below, let us know what you thought. But thanks for watching guys. And remember, always be original. Finally, we get to go home and eat pizza and wings. And... <laughs> I, dude, I love these pants. I, I really do. Here, try this on. Just so you know. I was wondering. It's...